What's up guys, this is kind of a guide slash showcase of all of the endings. Uh, if you're wondering how to get said endings, basically you just have to choose the correct cores that you obtain during the story missions. Uh, I show which core I use for each ending, so you can just base yourself off of that. Except the, the final ending, you have to choose the right core and hold the forward input on your controller or keyboard during the whole cutscene. And you'll get a different kind of uh, element at the end. So, enjoy! The effects of Ermis's answer permeated the entire kingdom. An unknown and chaotic power slowly corroded the land, affecting each individual differently. Some organisms turned into monsters, while some monsters were miraculously healed. The transformed, however, they grew inconceivably grotesque. Alchemy is a sophisticated practice that ought not to be wantonly used. Even a few minuscule change can produce a cascade of unpredictable effects. Perhaps, if more detail... The effect of Hermes's answer diffused throughout the kingdom, the perfectly balanced energy seeping into all organisms. The harmonized force neutralized all the reaction to both pure and vile blood. All who had been enhanced by alchemy gradually lost their powers, and Hermes was left with nothing but ordinary folks, who were tasked with rebuilding the entire kingdom. Though Hermes was safe from the, for the time being, the threat of the plague still loomed. The problem was not alchemy, but those who abused it. Knowing this, Aisumi resumed her research. Perhaps one day, the plague would be quelled. So, Varg and Erd.
The effect of Hermes' answer permanently permeated the entire kingdom, and all organisms were granted with the blessing of the pure blood. The pain and suffering gradually faded from the land. The wandering creatures' power waned, and they eventually perished. Those who had been blessed, on the other hand, grew even stronger. Though the monster had disappeared, ambitious power seekers grew greater in number. Various power, f power faction sought to lure in researchers, and all kingdoms struggled to gain control of the alchemical science. Isami and Corvus left the kingdom with the research obtained from Hermes's answer. They knew that those who had been corrupted by power would always lust for more, lusting for a power that could change. Mm. Okay. Okay? I don't know, I just put the two boss fights I like the most. The effect of Hermes answers the fuse throughout the kingdom, the power of the vile blood seeping into all organism, the high purity of the concoction finally put an end to the plague. Humans grew unrecognizably grotesque. The creatures grew more ferocious, and the transforms started starting killing each other, feeding off feeding on the disease. The world that humans once knew slowly began to perish. Corvus emerged from Philosopher's Hill alone. Perhaps this was the beginning of the next stage of evolution. Okay, so I, I'm guessing I put the vile blood. Because, oh, they're, yeah, they, they were both high on, on vile blood. That makes a lot of sense. They were both like the epitome of how strong you can get with vile blood. I mean, I want to skip. What if, what if there's like, something, right?
As Ermus's answer cursed, coursed through Corvus's body, his memory seeped into it. The giant tree spread his newfound energy throughout the land, and the harmonious balance of pure and vile blood was bestowed upon all beings. That is when they realized the source of all the tragedy, alchemy. Even though Corvus had passed away, his memory affected future generations, causing them to consider the real reason for alchemy's existence. A world that was... As, er as Ermes' answer coursed through Corvus' body, his memory seeped into it. The giant tree spread his newfound energy throughout the land, and was harmonious balance and the harmonious balance of pure and vile blood was bestowed upon all beings. That is when they realized the source of all the tragedy, alchemy. Even though Corvus had passed away, his memories affected the future generation, causing them to consider the real reason for alchemy's existence. A world that was once on the edge of extinction was now headed towards a brighter, a brighter future. Perhaps one day, the plague will disappear. But until then, people must learn how to coexist with it.